We're going to do a stream right now. So let me get this set up real quick. Probably about the next three or four minutes are going to be set up. So if you're watching this after October 13th, 2015, you can just you can just scoot right on by the next couple minutes because it's just going to be me talking about how I'm setting things up. And I have already forgotten to set the title, which is perfect because I'm an idiot. Um, so let's see. And I want to do, let me go to my channel, and my video manager, and I'm live streaming, and I want to do, pause that, and I'm going to call this October 13th. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Now I'm going to pop this window out. Pop out the chat. down. Okay, so that looks good. This no longer add window capture. Okay. Into. Okay. Edit scene. Alright, so that's that. And I'll do that there. Cool. Just, it's fine. Just do anything but that. Cool. Alright, now uh, I'm going to go hmm, to my channel. And I'm going to click on this. That's good. Close to Facebook. Okay. Publish. And do a link. Okay, that should be it for setup. Looks like we're here. Everybody's here. Uh, da, da, da. Joanna, hello. Elizabeth, hi. Alice, how you doing? I'm all right this afternoon. Um, it's uh, been a moderately busy day. Probably could have been more productive, but what are you gonna do? Tried trouble troubleshooting some things in my computer, but. It's slow goings, and there's still more to be done. Hey, Zio. Good to see you. Um, we're only supposed to be officially starting in one minute, so I feel bad if we got started any sooner than that. But the mail just came in half an hour ago, and everything looks good. I actually got a, I got a donation through the mail for Sophie. So that was nice. Thanks to John for that. Um, hey, Mina. Hey, Lynn. Good to see everybody. I'm going to grab my phone real fast before everybody gets here. So that, so that I can mess around with it. Okay, let's 
like a couple of people saying so a couple things on the Twitter. That's good. Okay. Dead purple. What? What did what do? Nothing did anything. We're all here having a good time. Just chilling out, waiting for a couple more people to show up. Hey, Alice. Did I already say hello to Alice? I feel like I did. I did. Hey, kitten. So, um... Weird. It is hot again. Hey, Carla. Good to see that everyone's here. Let me just check how many people we got right now. Ooh, am I frozen? No, I'm just paused. That's right. Looks like we got six watching. How many we got watching? Seven. Eh. You know, seven's fine. Okay. Um, so, do you guys want to start with unboxing, or do you want to start talking about Sophie? Because it seems like that's something we like to do every day, is check up on both of those things. Um, yeah, if you could just fill my apartment with nice chilly air right now, that would be so refreshing. It would dry off the back of my neck a little bit, because it is awful. Um, I apologize to anybody yesterday that was coming and uh, hoping for a more cheerful broadcast. I just had something up my ass yesterday, and honestly, I'm not much better today. So, um, so anybody that wants to, like, get a little feisty today... It's probably not going to go well for you. I'll I'll most likely be swinging that band hammer a little bit if if people are if people are feeling in the mood to be teasing. If they're in a gaming mood, yeah. So all right, we've decided we want to talk about Sophie. Uh, what happened today was, and I've already posted actually two videos on YouTube. They should both be up right now. Um. We had to take Sophie in for a, uh, a, a visit with the vet. Um, when we picked her up on Sunday, the vet who we had been dealing with wasn't actually there. So we kind of talked to the doctor, and he was a good guy. You know, um, he wasn't incompetent or anything, but uh, he basically said, like, you know, come back and, and talk to the doctor who was handling, your, you know, Sophie's procedures and stuff. Um, so we came back. Uh, Sophie was a little cranky in the car, that's fine, and, um, we got her to the vet, and we put her out on the table, and I actually got to see, she only has one cast, despite the fact that both legs were, were operated on, one leg has the big green kind of conical cast on it, and the other leg, it was such a standard, um, non-invasive procedure on the other leg that they just make a little cut and I think the doctor just goes in in between the muscle and cuts off a piece of bone and then that's it he sews it back up and it's done there's no immobility they actually he actually wanted her to stand on the leg without the cast a little bit because what happens is they cut off the head of the femur completely, so it's just sort of a free-floating uh, femur bone interacting with the the, uh, the ball joint of the hip, and they depend on there being some sort of cartilage and other tissue that develops there to hold that, like, space. And so they want Sophie to be walking around, but unfortunately, since she has the other broken leg, she can't really walk around. So he, he took her off the table, like, without really talking about what he was going to do. He just kind of, like, picked her up and, like, set her on the ground on all four paws. And um, she kind of freaked out and, like, got her hind legs up on top of his arm. And she pushed up and did a somersault off of his hands and, like, ended up, like, landing on her back on the floor, you know, about from floor level. It wasn't like she took a big fall, but she was immediately just, like, real mad about the fact that he was trying to make her walk around on, on that leg. Um, so we we thought she was going to bust her hip up again trying to do that, but unfortunately she's fine. It, you know, cats are very resilient, and uh, he was like, I don't worry about it. She's just fucking around. So 
She did her little flip. She actually did walk around for a couple of seconds, um, and that's what she's supposed to be doing for the next few days is just exercising her legs a little bit. She needs a little physical therapy, but it's nothing that we need to keep bringing her in for. And he said they're going to be taking um, uh, her cast off next week, next Tuesday. So uh, she's got another seven days of that. And, uh, yeah, um, she's doing well. And everything looks good. He gave her a stool sampler because, as my landlady says, she has not gone poo-poo. So uh, she needs the, a little help with the poo-poo. Uh, and that's um, pretty funny. So she's going to hopefully have a little bit of a softer poo-poo from here on out. But uh, she's doing well. She's very much, like, awake and alert and not out of it at all. And she's just... Uh, um, you know, she's doing all right. So let's see what you guys have been saying. Uh, frozen on my screen. That's not good. Am I frozen for everybody? Um, yeah. Okay. So just some general sympathy sympathy for, for Sophie. Danny, all you missed was the Sophie update about, about the cat. So um, it's nothing, nothing too urgent or important has happened with Sophie. She's still doing fine. Um, yeah, it's being six months old, I think is definitely, um, is definitely, a, a, an asset that's on her side. So, um, she's going to be all right. She's just, it's just going to be a long road of having a shaved butt for a while. And, you know, when she gets her cast off, I think she's going to be up and running around, probably very achy for a while, but she's got some painkillers. She's got some antibiotics. She's going to be good. But if you want to get a closer look at exactly what her what she looks like now that she's been operated on, I just put two short videos up on YouTube. I'm going to put those into a Tumblr post that sort of cascades uh, into the last few posts I've had. Oh, excuse me. That's not polite. Um... But yeah, uh, you can see you can see the operation scar on one leg, and you can see the cast on the other, and you can see where they shaved her. Anyways, hey Kristen, uh, hey uh, Candace and Jatana. Ooh, that's an exotic name. Oh, I hope you guys enjoy Crimson Peak. It's um, it's it's a movie. Okay, so um. Let's, uh, let's do unboxing. I went once again to check the P.O. box. <sighs> it's gotta be the right box. I think nothing, I think things are just taking a while to come in. Uh, but still nothing is, has arrived for the P.O. box, so. Let's, um, let's open a couple boxes. Like this guy. What, what mysteries does this box hold? Let us find out. I hope everybody's here that wanted to see this, because it always makes me feel bad when we do an unboxing, and, uh, and people are like, No! I wanted to be there! And then they couldn't be there. It makes me feel bad. But we can't always wait a million hours. I don't know, Danny, like... It's not, it's, it's got special effects, but it's not such a he special effects heavy movie that seeing it in the theater is really going to, excuse me, oh man, why do I keep, uh, it's not such a, like, I always judge a movie, like, if, whether it's worth seeing in the theater is whether it's, like, super special effectsy and sound heavy, because I like there to be good sound in the theater, as opposed to watching it on Netflix on my little TV, um, so it's it's not a movie that's so dependent on the special effects that you'll need, you know, the theater behind it. But, you know, it'll suck if it, that, it ends up being your favorite movie of all time and you didn't get to see it in theaters. So that's that would be unfortunate. Um, uh, Lynn, go for the normal one. Uh, you actually, since you actually have my physical address, just shoot it right through there. That'll save me the trip of going to the post office. Um. Na, 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 na. Hmm. 
there was nothing at the post office. It might be one of those things where if the package didn't fit in literally something the size of half a shoebox, uh, what they might need is a day to write up a slip that says, you know, you've got a package in your P.O. box that doesn't fit in your P.O. box, and then they send the slip to me, and that takes an extra day, and then I'm supposed to go over there. So um, maybe I'll go tomorrow, and whether I've gotten the slip or not, I'll be like, yeah, I think there's a box for this number. So um, unless uh, it was just a letter, in which case maybe, I, maybe I've been telling people the wrong P.O. box address. So if you've got the approximate dimensions of, of the thing you sent to the P.O. box that arrived today, um, it's okay. It's probably just not here yet. Um, that makes me nervous. Anyways, we'll 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 sort it out. Um, well, the, the PO box that I have, like you can only check it during open bank. Uh, open uh, <laughs> bank. Uh, post office hours and they keep it behind a, a counter instead of in a locker. If I had gone to the UPS store and paid about three times as much, I could have had access to a locker where they keep the larger boxes, but this is not the case. Uh, Alright, so what do we got? Small box, opening it up. It looks like it's got a letter. Letter says, "Hey Bill, enjoy, enjoy, nerd, from Reba Moriarty, two two one C." It's not properly punctuated, but you got in your shot. You got to call me a nerd. Congratulations. Mm. I just read the packing slip, so I already know what it is. But I'm going to show you guys what it is. It is another Zombicide special guest artist box. It's got the spooky cheerleader on it. This one comes with kind of a um, kind of your 50 cent character uh, named Kevin. And then you've got Peach the cheerleader. And she's a little, um, little hat, little too happy to be here. So let's take a look inside. Oh, la, 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 la. Uh, halfway on the PGC blanket. Yeah, I'm hoping I didn't make a, a mistake with the PO box address because I'm pretty sure it, you know. I gave you guys the right number. Cool. So here's the miniatures. We've got uh, Zombie Peach and Kevin. And then we've got Survivor Peach and Kevin. That's pretty cool. And then we've got their cards. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. Well, she's got jump. What a crazy ability to have. I don't even, I've never used the jump ability in Zombicide, but, you know, maybe it's more useful than it seems. So Peach has uh, jump and fast roping. You can see her card there. And then when she's a zombie, she actually gets a little sexier when she's a zombie. Um, which is funny. Typically, I don't feel as attracted to the zombie versions, but she's looking pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Got some nails through her leg for some reason. Don't know why. And then you've got Kevin. You know, I thought Kevin had a little handlebar mustache. He's got the taunt ability, um, but he's actually just got a toothpick in his mouth. I can't really... Let me see if I can wipe off this screen. Maybe that's a little better. Well, still pretty blurry. And then Kevin gets a lot hunchier when he's a zombie. Which is kind of unnerving. But still looks good, you know. Still keeping it keeping it tight. That's nice to see. 
Um, so the thing about Zombicide is there's really no full collection. I've got, I mean, I've pretty much got all the stuff that you can buy without having, um, without having done the original Kickstarter, which came with like a lot of extra special guests that were based on movie characters. Like there's kind of a Chuck Norris character and there's kind of a, uh, Machete character and there's kind of a, um, Angelina Jolie from Mr. and Mrs. Smith character. But, like, they were only available if you sent money in for, like, a deluxe... Like, you had to give a certain Kickstarter fee uh, while they were still producing the game. And uh, I sort of missed the boat on that. But the Thiago character that I got a couple weeks ago, or a couple last week, I guess, and, like, the Bill character that come in the Gaming Night sets, like, those are... A couple of those characters, so they're just releasing them one at a time with special edition gaming night uh, sets. So you're paying a, a real premium for those extra characters. Um, but you know, it, I'm, I'm about as close to having the biggest Zombicide collection. I mean, I've never seen anything like what I have now. I've never. I haven't played in a couple of weeks, and it's gotten much bigger since then. So it's a lot of it's a lot of game. There's a lot of game there. Um, yeah, Linda, I don't know about the key thing. Like, I have a key to the box, and Los Angeles is a very large postal hub. So I would imagine that if there's some sort of community locker for several people to be able to access at once, that's a kind of a no-no in LA. Uh, perhaps if it were in a much smaller town, they would feel better about having people be able to get in and out of a box that holds larger packages, but they want to be able to have some people sign everything in and out. Um, oh, uh, speaking of Kat being here, I hope you guys have all listened to, um, to her Geeks of the Galaxy podcast that just, uh, showed up today. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to repost it, but by all means, go on Twitter Go on the Geeks of the Galaxy podcast Twitter. Go on uh, Harley Cat Cosplay. Is it still Harley Cat Cosplay, or did you change? Did you change your Twitter cat with? Um, I know you changed at least your Instagram name. Um, I've only listened to probably sixty percent of it, but I'm gonna go back and listen to the rest of it later. Um, So, yeah, back to the Zombicide collection. It's almost... it's I, I've almost got everything. This might be it, actually. This might be the last thing that I've actually asked for, as far as Zombicide goes, because I can't find anything else. Um, the big cards that came with the one set, yes, I read the rules for them. And they make the game easier, and they're specifically made for, like, playing three campaigns or however many campaigns in a row or however many missions in a row to make a campaign and um, it's almost like a little overwhelming how how easy the character the, the playable characters can have it if you let them have every single rule between team actions and these uh, experience cards the the game mechanics aren't meant to house this much of the game. And so every single set gives the player a little bit of an advantage. And I've got so many sets now that the players have far, far more advantages than the zombies. So I may actually have to start only doing hard missions and even limiting the characters uh, in certain ways. But i got to figure it out as we go. Maybe putting a time limit on it will, will help. Um, making sure left it on the porch... Uh, P.O. Box. Alright, well, let me let me sort out some stuff. You know what, guys? Hold off on any more P.O. Box stuff for a while, because... I don't know. It, it seems like if something was supposed to have shown up yesterday... Let me just get one thing in before you guys send anything else. It's been a while that it's been open, and it seems weird that nothing would have come into it. Um... What else we got? What else we got? Okay, okay. 
taunting people with a toothpick, watch out. <laughs> uh, after watching your costume video, I'm considering getting Sintra. Is there anything specific I'll need for cutting, and what paint is best? The thing about Sintra um, is it's, compared to Warbla, fairly hard to cut. Um, I recommend an X-Acto knife or a razor knife, uh, you know, just like a regular box cutter knife. Um, something real sharp and something um, that's going to, you're going to be able to change out the blade because you're going to do a lot of cutting with Sintra, and it's really hard to get a nice, you're essentially going to want to make a rough cut and then sand it down. And honestly, you can just paint Sintra. Um, I've looked online at forums and stuff, and you can just spray paint right on it. Like, sometimes you don't even need to sand it as long as you're happy with the texture as it is. It's just hard to find. Uh, you can probably find it at a sign shop if you need it. Um, after, okay, more, okay. We get divided up into different post offices. And so only so many people can have P.O. boxes at one office. Which now I get text alerts when I actually get mail, so it's nice. Love the costume video. Well, I'm glad you did. It was... It's been sitting in, on my computer forever, and I don't know how to edit video, and I just downloaded a, a program that lets me do it, and I had to watch the tutorials just to cut three videos together into one continuous thing. So, that was a thing. Just a bigger P.O. box. Only your item is in the box, and you return the key when you get your large item. They did that in Miami, but maybe LA works differently. Yeah, as far as I know, they just need you to sign for everything. Um, uh, Tim says hi. Bye. He's heading out for a game night now. All right, tell tell Tim I said uh, I said thanks, and also kind of I kind of almost gave him a little hard time on for he messaged me through my personal Facebook, and I was like, hey, don't that message me here and then I was like oh wait that's Lynn's husband you're good you're fine um, I'll get some used panties eventually um, oh was that from you dead purple um, the your my new hero message Yeah, the uh, the interchangeable parts of the costume were a necessity um, due to the fact that I didn't want to make three different costumes just to have the shoulders be a little different on each one. That would be a little bit of a waste. Um, and there are probably some people out there who could say, like, oh, well, it's actually a totally different vest every time if you look at the movie footage, but it's not. They're, they're the same jacket every time. Um, uh, all right, so we got one more package to open. Let's see what we got here. We got this guy, that, this, here we go. Oh, I was wrong. I haven't gotten all the zombie stuff yet. Oh no. Oh no, is this stuff I already have? Oh no, guys. Okay, so this... Oh, wait a second. Let me make sure I got this right. That was from Reba. This is from Helen. So, Helen sent me Good guy dogs. These are the dog companions that the survivors can get in Zombicide. I do already have these, so these may end up going to Thor TV. As may these, because I already have a bunch of crows as well. Um, so there was a point where Helen really started going rogue. On on uh, on the Amazon wish list and just essentially tacking everything that she could on as an extra gift and um, and this I think was part of that Amazon rampage 
uh, was were these two things that were not on the wish list, but um, were probably showing up as you can also buy this if you bought these two things and so on and so forth. So um, I'm actually going to not open these up any more than they already are because they're going to get put to good use in another Zombicide set, uh, either owned by uh, my buddy, uh, my buddy Notorious Bob or Thor TV. Um, but thank you, Alan. I mean, it's extremely generous of you. I just, I just am at the point where I don't have room for anything. <laughs> I don't have room for anything anymore. Ugh. Um, let's see. Yeah, that uh, uh, Dead Purple, that Superman costume was actually made by my mom. She didn't know that the tights were going to be see-through when they were photographed, but still a good costume. Um, logged off. He didn't want to... Yeah, no one's thinking anyone's a snob here. Yeah, I wish I could have a real doggy. You always have all the Zombicide stuff. There will always be more. Yeah, it's true. They've got a great marketing machine going right now. And even the new set they're, they're releasing is almost an entirely different game. I mean, it's the same game mechanic, but... Um, but uh, it's medieval, so like instead of guns, there's bow and bows and crossbows, and you know instead of knives, there's swords or whatever. So it's like you, it'll be hard to mix in that you can't, you don't want to be walking around a castle with an AK-47, and you don't want to be walking around the streets of New York with a, a medieval crossbow or some sort of uh, fireball attack. Um, more crows. Bros before crows, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. Ippity, what I would, what I would uh, suggest is finding someone in your area who runs a game night, who may own it, and having them show you how to play. Because if you're just reading through the rule book, it's going to be very dry, and it's going to be very hard to make the game run correctly without seeing it happen first. Um, and there's a lot of games like that. Someone was showing us um, Arkham Horror. Uh, Harley Cat and I were playing Arkham Horror with a couple other people in uh, Salt Lake City. And they were saying, like, yeah, man, that rule book is just garbage. And we had to figure it all out on our, on our own, and we're still figuring a lot of things out. And that's exactly how Zombicide is. There's a lot of murky rules. There's a lot of stuff that uh, may not be understandable. Uh, right off the bat, especially if you're just trying to learn it cold. Um, next gift from Helen needs to be a storage locker for you. Yeah. Um, I've actually put a lot of storage things in the in the wish list, so hopefully uh, something like that comes in before Friday when the, the next time I'll be playing is... Um, Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're going to a gaming night, being the the lady is uh, is not typically uh, is not typically the greatest situation. Being the the minority, um, but yeah, I mean, send them an email first and be like, yeah, I'm interested in playing Zombicide. The good thing about creepy guys is that they'll typically do anything to accommodate a female. So if one of them does have Zombicide, he's gonna do what he can to make sure he gets you in that game. Uh, unfortunately, once you're in that game, it might not... It might not be the most comfortable situation for you, and it is a long game. It's going to take three or four hours to play. Uh, yeah, Kristen, I get that vibe from you. You don't seem like... Uh, even your profile picture is sort of... Uh, sort of an, uh, an omen to what kind of attention span you have. Pretty look. You look. You seem like a pretty f fun-loving, quirky person who may not make it through an instruction manual in one read. Hey, Brandy. Good to see you. Um. But yeah, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we got to square up 
everything about Sophie today. Again, for anyone who's just joining, Sophie is doing really well. Uh, she's going to get her cast off in a week, and doctor says she looks good. Um, and if you missed the unboxing, I got a couple new Zombicide characters. I got Kevin and Peach, and then on top of that, I got some double dogs and some double crows. So, um, I got more Zombicide than I know what to do with, or than I have the space to deal with. So, it's all going somewhere. Um, hey, Rivers. You're just coming in on the tail end, unfortunately, Rivers. Magic Knight that has potentially to just smile on half the guys would just give me all their spare cards after they open their pack. Free is always good. Hey, you know what? I always said, if I had sex appeal, I would use it. And, I don't know. I'm doing alright. <laughs> it's like, if people want to give you stuff, let them give you the stuff. Um... Uh, yeah, one the the two extra characters were uh, from. I don't want to screw up her name. But I've already lost the card. Were from Reba Moriarty two two one, and the other two uh, the the crows and the dogs were from were from Helen. So thank you to to Reba and Helen. Um, hey, you know what, Linda. I, I, the, before Loki happened, being a skinny white guy with long dark hair, not uh, not the most marketable commodity on on uh, on the street. So, you know, it's it was a struggle every day. And now, even with the whole Loki thing happening, like it's not functionally like working miracles for me in the. In, in the in the social aspect, but I do all right. It's certainly taken an upturn lately. I get a lot more compliments. Certainly a lot more gifts. Um, I'm not I'm I'm not complaining, but like, not everyone sees the potential that you guys do, or that some of you do. I'm not I'm not trying to infer that every single person in this chat room is watching because they like looking at my face. Um. That's right. You play the cards you're dealt with. I couldn't have said it better myself. And, uh, I like the hand I've been dealt. Don't, don't fight our love. Ooh, guy's mad. Yeah, I've got, I've got nothing to complain about, but uh, there's, let me just, let me just put it this way. There's a lot of people I would have never met if someone hadn't designed a character in a movie to look like I normally look. That's not to say that those people wouldn't have always taken a shine to me, but I would have never probably made that connection with them. All right. Dead purple, just that thirsty thing. I never, I don't, uh, I don't like the the use of the word thirsty to describe someone who's romantically or sexually uh, anxious for anything. I don't know. I just, uh, I think it's too too forward. Um. Yeah, I mean, cosplay is a magical thing. Uh, you make some great friends, and and you you know, you find yourself in situations that you wouldn't have uh, normally found yourself in, and that's something um, to be treasured. Yeah, Rivers, I think she's just making light of of the fact that everybody's being so nice. Um.
Oh man, Mina, you please careful with that. That's um that's a dangerous claim to make and I'm not getting anywhere near it. He's much taller than me, so he wins every time. Um Have a good night, Joanna. All right, with Joanna's departure, I think that's about all for me tonight. Um, it seems like this has just be kind of become a sort of squishy love fest where I'm getting a little overwhelmed with all the love tonight. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll make this a short one tonight, and um, I hope you guys are doing well. Tall counts for a lot when you're a dude. A whole lot. But that's that's a whole discussion that I'm biased with. Uh, you you see you see the tall allegiance a whole lot when you're a dude. Who's blushing? It's just hot out. <laughs> Mm. I don't know how overrated tall is. I do, I, I, I'm working with what I got, guys. I'm real happy with it. You know, I'm not trying to say that I, I, I would trade the the way I am for anything, but uh, you know, sometimes you wonder how the other half lives. Um. Oh, Epity. Yeah, no problem. Um. That, that, I'm sorry I didn't get to share that costume video earlier. It's been sitting in my hard drive for months. It's been sitting there since... God, what con was that? It wasn't Comic-Con. Whenever we did all those dub smashes was when I took that video. Maybe it was Comic-Con. Oh, man. Anyways. Um... I don't think that's right to throw Tim under the bus like that about him being short. Um, yeah, Alice knows what I'm talking about. Alice is the only honest one here. She's like, yeah, you know, I could maybe go for a tall guy. Um, Mika, have you not seen me be a jerk to like everyone all the time? Brandy, for a second I thought you said, it's a relative who you end up with, and I was like, don't end up with your relatives, that's illegal and gross. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it was. It was back when I had the other bed. It was a while ago. Mm, Dead Purple's got an open invite for everyone to come and hang out. I think Alice is talking, well, probably both. You know what, why not? Short guys put more effort in enthusiasm in spades. Oh, God. Oh, this isn't what this was supposed to be about. Ooh, 411. That's real short. Yeah, Dead Purple, if you're ever in L.A., I can try to set up a game night. And I'll, I'll show you how to play. There's nothing I like more than playing, uh, playing Zombicide. So if you can make your way over here, I'll be glad to be your, your Zombicide mentor. All right. I'm not, I don't need to run. I just feel like I got nothing else interesting to talk about. So I don't want to keep you guys here as I'm just sitting here, like, you know, doing nothing. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. If uh, Dead Purple, if you can make it out, the cat will come up, plays homicide with us. Short, sleep deprived cosplay lovers who enjoy Loki. It's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Stephen, I'd love to invite him over more, but he's you know he's a ways away.
Oh, cat. Wait. What are you even looking at, cat? What are you looking at? You just leaking some stuff? That sounds pretty cool. Not even the most comfortable place to sit. You're gonna end up with fur all over your tongue. What are you doing? Can I touch your tail? Don't be mad at me! She said, don't touch my tail. Don't touch it. Don't kiss my head, I hate that. She hates it when I kiss her head. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I'm glad you, you show up, Danny. I'm, I'm glad you're here. But, I'm too hot to keep sitting on this couch right now with pants on. So, I'm gonna go fix both of those problems. Uh, I did not clip her nails yet. I'll bring her in... Maybe tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. How's that sound? Um, but... Until later, uh, maybe I'll, I'm, I'm gonna check on that P.O. Box stuff, and, um, uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Miss you, love you, uh, Bye bye